It is currently Tuesday morning and I very much have the mindset today of it's a new day. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life. I don't know what was up with me yesterday but I don't know whether it's like pregnancy hormones but I just felt like a balloon that had just been popped, like I just felt so deflated really just flat when i get in a funk like that i find it really hard to like get myself out of that mood and i can tend to just kind of spiral um and have lots of negative thoughts and just overthink everything and just really be in my head all day and that was me yesterday and i kept saying to myself yesterday tomorrow's a new day like tomorrow is a new day and do you know what else i do as well i do this thing that i think is really quite toxic maybe it's my toxic trait but when i have one of these like down days where i just feel flat for no reason i constantly like tell myself in my head like you have no reason to feel like this like you have so many things to be grateful for like why do you feel like this and i almost want to like shake myself and i think that that actually makes me feel worse and then it's like <laughs> i go through this like circle in my head where i I'm annoyed at myself for feeling like I feel. So anyway, here it is, a new day. Do you know what as well? This morning's weather is gorgeous. It's like one of my favorite, my favorite weathers. <laughs> it's so sunny, like it looks like spring, but it's freezing, like it's frosty. Like everything looks really like pretty and kind of misty and a bit glittery. I love mornings like this. They just feel so lovely and fresh. And I think, to be honest, maybe what contributed to my like mood yesterday was it was just so dark all day. It was so dark and gloomy and rainy, which you guys know I actually really love. But I feel like I love that weather in the autumn and around Christmas. <laughs> because like your home feels cozy but I feel like in January it's just a bit sometimes a bit miserable isn't it so yeah it's a beautiful morning today plans for this morning are we are going to go on a family walk which I feel like I just need um I think sometimes when I can feel a little bit flat just like getting outside going for a lovely long walk with Jamie and Noah just is is such a healer like I just I love it I love being in trees with the sun the smell of woodland and seeing some animals like that just makes my day so we're gonna go to one of our favorite little walking routes which is just down the road um and there is a deer park there deer's just I I just love them they make me happy other animals which Noah loves to say moo at every single animal whether it's a deer a sheep a cow it's a moo <laughs> um so that's so cute and there's a lovely like woodland walk that like kind of comes out onto a big cow field and there's this like cute little cottage um it's just a lovely walk so that's our plans for this morning so today i am gonna wear i know what you're thinking she's a big mama i did tell you i warned you guys she she's a big mama okay <laughs> especially in a dressing gown i feel like it just like emphasizes i was saying i'm gonna wear one of my new sets from mp active wear i have worked with mp active wear for quite a while now on instagram i love 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 their gym wear even though i'm not going to the gym i'm going for a walk but it's actually something i reach for a lot in pregnancy i feel like a nice gym set is the perfect outfit for when you want to wear something that's comfortable doesn't feel restrictive but you also feel like quite put together the shape seamless leggings in black 
These leggings are my favourite. I've got loads of different colours of these. They're so high-waisted, so flattering. They're just a really, really lovely legging. Um, and these actually aren't maternity leggings, but they are perfect for pregnancy because they're so high-waisted and, like, stretchy. They're just absolutely perfect. So I'm going to pop those on. With a new little top that I picked up, this is a quarter zip. I actually already have one of these, but it's a full zip. So I thought this would be really nice. This one is from the maternity range. So MP Activewear do have some maternity bits as well. And I also picked up a sports bra. Oh my goodness, these are just the comfiest things ever. This one has adjustable straps, which you guys know I love. Super comfortable, nice and stretchy. We've also got like molded a molded bra bit as well. So it gives you the support. And another little set that I picked up, which is just, oh my God, the color. This is the new walnut colour and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up a set in this colour as well. I picked up a long sleeve crop, which again, like I said, this is such a nice little set to wear with like a nice cosy cardigan, trainers, a coat, like just such an easy outfit to throw on, which like I said, is comfortable. And I also picked up another pair of the Shape Seamless Leggings, again in the walnut colour. Love this colour so much. I thought this little set would go so nicely with my brown New Balance. Oh, how nice is that going to look? I can't wait to wear that one. Just wanted to show you guys what the black set looks like on. Honestly, like I've said, such a nice, easy, throw-on, comfortable outfit. So this top, I feel like, is actually my new favourite thing. I love that it's got slightly longer sleeves and thumb holes. I just think they're so comfortable. Also, keep your hands a little bit warm. We've got a nice high neck as well, half zip. And it's just such a lovely, flattering fit. Something else I love as well is around here i think you can maybe see a little bit better like that but as you can see there's this gathered material there's a bit of extra material there so as your bump grows the top grows with you which i just think is amazing here's what baby is looking like then as you can see the leggings are super high-waisted bump friendly they sit in a really really comfortable place they're really stretchy and they've got a nice thick waistband so I feel like as well they actually give you like a lot of support especially on the bump um, and like I said these are not maternity leggings so these are for absolutely everyone and they're just such a lovely lovely legging really stretchy really comfortable also picked up a new cozy sweatshirt which I think I might pop on before my coats um, these are just so super soft as you can see we've got the branding a little MP there and like I said it's just so soft and cozy perfect oversized fit and I also picked up as well a new oversized t-shirt love these I think they're so easy to wear Jamie also absolutely loves these t-shirts he's probably gonna end up stealing it um, but again I feel like this with a pair of leggings a really nice easy going into spring kind of outfit hey my loves i actually have a discount code for mp activewear which i'm going to leave on screen i will leave a direct link down below along with my discount code have a browse they've got something for everyone and like i said they have got bump friendly bits um and some really lovely gym wear would highly recommend because the quality mp activewear really lasts so yeah my loves that is me already i'm gonna pop my coat on maybe even a scarf maybe even a hat maybe even gloves because it actually looks freezing gonna quickly get noah ready um and yeah let's go for a walk seems like forever since we've been together oh god i
see your face. Oh God, I miss you bad. We are now home from our walk. Noah has just gone down for his nap, which usually lasts around two to two and a half hours. So I feel like it's a good opportunity to get dinner sorted. We're gonna have a slow cooker dinner tonight because we're gonna be out this afternoon. Um, so I'm gonna do a slow cooker chili, one of my favorites. Oh, I just, I love, 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 love a chili. I feel like you can just have it with so many different things. We're thinking a nice, crispy, big, Jacket potato done in the air fryer. Crispy skin, fluffy potato, butter, cheese, chili con carne, more cheese, sour cream, guac. I'll probably do Noah's with a little bit of pasta. He also loves chili, but isn't keen on rice and isn't keen on jacket potato. So he'll probably have his with like a little bit of pasta or something. Um, I'm also going this is a risky thing to do at nap time but i am gonna make my first ever bread i really want to become a bread maker <laughs> you're not a bread maker but i'd like to make bread um i found this quite easy bread recipe on tiktok which i'm gonna try i think it's an artisan loaf it's not a sourdough i feel like sourdough I'm gonna have to do that on a, uh, one of Noah's nursery days because that is looks like a long process. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make my first ever bread today, see how it goes. I just, do you know what it is? I feel like I associate like making bread with like being a mum. I can just imagine like, oh, this makes me feel sad. Like my two boys coming home from school to a freshly cooked loaf of bread. like. I don't know, there's something about that that just feels really cosy. Um, so yeah, the bread making process starts today. Hopefully it goes well. And then if the recipe's good, I'll leave it down below for you guys. Okay, my bread dough is actually looking like the recipe, <laughs> which is reassuring. It was actually really easy so far. I'm not saying anything too soon because we need to see how this turns out. So that's all I need to do for now. I'm gonna cover it up with my tea towel and leave it for six hours until we can kind of like finish it and put it in the oven. But with this recipe, you only needed four ingredients, so it was super easy. I just used some lukewarm water, um, a teaspoon of salt, and then some easy yeast and some bread flour so yeah let's see how this turns out later the cutest girl this is her new favorite little sleeping spot in the daytime she absolutely loves it and like in the morning 
the sun is just in this spot and I think that's why she loves it because morning she's like basking in the sun and it's just so cute. So my loves, bread is prepped, chilli is cooking away in the slow, slow, slow cooker, <laughs> in the slow cooker and Noah is still asleep. This never happens. Usually when I plan to do anything in Noah's nap times, he's like, I'm awake after like 10 minutes. So plans for this afternoon are we actually have an appointment for our bathroom renovation, which is so exciting. I feel like everything's happening really fast. Um, so our appointment is actually in Peterborough. So it's about an hour drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop Noah off at my mum's and he's gonna spend a couple of hours with Nana because I should think our appointment is gonna last quite a while this afternoon because basically we need to choose everything today we need to decide on the layout of the bathroom we need to make sure everything's chosen um because our bathroom's actually getting done in three and a half weeks so <laughs> we're kind of on a bit of a time scale here so we need to pick everything and make sure that it is obviously available um so yeah that is the plan for today we've got an appointment at the bathroom place so exciting i can't wait to kind of see like my little mood boards come to life let me show you the kind of style that we're going for the little mood board i put together actually i'm going to pop this on screen because i feel like you guys will be able to see it a lot better um i created this on canva so easy to create mood boards and this is the kind of vibe that we're going for it's called wabi sabi and it's just like very neutral minimal spa kind of vibes very relaxing you can see on the mood board i'd really love like a tall cupboard with like an open shelving unit lots of lovely storage love a bit of storage i'd like some nice floating shelves a floating toilet some shower shelving because i currently don't have any shelves in my shower and it's just something i would appreciate so much um and yeah just this kind of vibe so i'm excited to see everything come together today actually i'm going to take you guys up to the bathroom now i'm sure most of you know what it looks like but i want to share with you my kind of like ideas of where we might be moving things around so let's go upstairs we'll have to be quiet though because noah's still sleeping to be honest we need to wake him up in about 10 15 minutes anyway um because we need to leave and he's already had two hours so we will be quiet you might be able to hear the white noise and some snoring <sighs> yeah i can hear snoring he's still very asleep okay so currently our bathroom is looking like can't even open the door because there are so many dressing gowns on the back of this door the door doesn't open okay so as you go into our bathroom it looks like this let me give you a little pan <laughs> So, as you guys know, I have never loved the flooring. I feel like, you guys know what I'm like, I like plain neutral, okay? <laughs> and this is just quite loud and I don't really feel like it goes with the rest of the house. And we just fancy to change. Um, and it's such a lovely sized bathroom. I feel like the layout, do something really special with the size of the bathroom and the layout. So, so obviously we've got the shower here, the toilet there, our bath here sink unit here and then lovely big mirror um and then <laughs> all of the bath toys they look aesthetic but usually these are all over the bath <laughs> by the way this bath toy would highly recommend it's from amazon and it's like this little kitchen it's absolutely brilliant it sticks to the side of the bath and this pot bubbles in here is so good and the little tap noah absolutely loves it he will spend hours playing with just this toy in the bath. It's his literal favourite. Plans are, I don't know if this is possible, but we're going to see today. I'd like to keep the bath there because I love that it's like under the window. What I'd like to do is I'd like to have a shower here, but almost like a wet room. Um, I like the idea of just it being very like open plan. This bathroom to me like doesn't really flow very nicely. So yeah, I'm hoping we could maybe get a shower here next to the bath have it as a wet room so there won't be a shower tray um and then i'm hoping to have a floating toilet here i think that could look really nice and then this whole sink unit i'd like to go here 
with my tall shelving. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. This is kind of just what I have in my head. Um, and then we're gonna go for different tiles. I'm thinking all tiles on the wall, all on the floor, so we can go for the wet room vibe. Black or gold fixtures and fittings, I'm not sure yet. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the plan. See, we'll find out more today, um, but I can't wait. It's going to look so different. So yeah, this is the before. We won't be seeing the after for a while, but it gives you guys a little bit of an idea of the shape of the room and what we could potentially have. I actually can't believe Noah is still asleep. Still snoring through me talking. Why is it on the days you have to go out, babies will sleep for like five hours? <laughs> on the days you have all the time in the world and everything to do, they have like a 10 minute nap. I'm sure they know, they definitely know. So yeah, that is the bathroom plans. Excited to share more with you guys, hopefully later on. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole bathroom renovation anyway, so that's very exciting. And yeah, we are gonna get ready to leave. I feel like we're in a bit of a hurry now. We've got to leave in like five minutes and you guys know me. We need to be like half an hour early. <laughs> yeah, very excited to get the ball rolling with our new bathroom. I nearly just fell down the stairs. <laughs> It is now a lot later on in the day. It is half past four. Um, we've been to our appointment. We got back about 20 minutes ago. I have just de makeuped and put my pajamas on. <laughs> I felt a bit like yuck from our walk this morning because it was like quite windy and I feel like, I feel like the wind makes me feel dirty. So I've just washed my face, put my pajamas on. Oh, I feel, Oh, it feels so good. So, updates for you all. Our bathroom appointment went really, really well. Um, we pretty much made all our choices. I am just waiting for some kind of like layout options, which I should be getting later on today. So hopefully I can show you guys some of those. So Jamie and Noah have actually just popped to the shop for me because I realized I don't have any sour cream and you, you can't have chili without sour cream so they have gone to get me that noah's got a new little pram it's like a bike pram um it's called a doona and it's like <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen <laughs> i could hear teddy sliding um it's like a bike with a like a push chair handle he loves it absolutely loves it loves going around the shops on it um, so Jamie's taking him with him to give him a little zoom around the shop. Yeah, whilst they are at the shop, I'm gonna get dinner finished. So the chili is almost done. That's been cooking for almost six hours now. Um, so I'm just gonna turn the heat down on this actually, and that will be ready in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna do mine and Jamie's jacket potatoes. Now, if you guys want the most perfect jacket potatoes that are really, really quick to do, all you need to do, pop your potatoes in the oven for about eight minutes and then you want to coat them in olive oil some salt pepper and then pop them in your air fryer at 200 for 20 minutes oh my goodness they go delicious they go like really crispy but really fluffy on the inside so i'm gonna do that now and then by the time they get home from the shop dinner should be almost ready so i almost forgot a bread update so this bread actually needed four to six hours to kind of like do its thing with the yeast it's looking good it's looking on the right track let me show you okay here is how my bread is looking as you can see it's like tripled in size which is exactly what it's meant to do um so now what i'm gonna do oh 
Oh, it's very sticky. Okay, I probably shouldn't have just put my finger in that. Um, what I'm going to do is tip it out onto like a floured surface and mould it into a bread shape. Then I might do a little bit of like, let's see how adventurous I feel. <laughs> might do a little bit of like bread design on top and then it's going in the oven. Okay, the bread is squeaking. I'm not sure if it's meant to do this. And it's incredibly sticky. Um, okay, let's try and, oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, don't panic. Wow, oh my God. Okay, on the video I watched, it did not look this sticky. It's like, it's like slime. Okay, my loves, it is the moment of truth. I've just got it out of the oven. It's been in the oven for about 35 minutes. I haven't looked in the lid yet. So, here we go. Ah! Oh! Oh my God, it smells amazing. I feel like I wasn't expecting it to look like bread. Let's, let's get it out of its, let's get it out of here and have a look. Guys, look! Okay, it looks like bread and it smells like bread. We do have like a bit of a flour, a flour shell, but it looks rustic. Um, my art, my bread art didn't really go to plan, but I definitely need some like tools, some bread tools. Whoa, okay. It looks like bread and it smells like bread, so let's cut it and see what the inside looks like. I'm nervous! Oh, she's crusty. Okay, she's uncuttable, she's indestructible. Oh, we're in. Oh, guys, look! Okay, that's what the inside is looking like. I feel like it looks maybe not fully cooked gonna lie um it doesn't look as dry as i was expecting but maybe i just need to leave it to like really cool down and i should think if i pop it back in the dutch oven it might kind of like cook the inside more without there being direct heat so i think i'm gonna do that but for a first attempt i think it looks all right Where? oh look <gasps> oh do your thing no it only ever goes when something's yummy and he just did that at my bread. I missed him. It's the taste test time. I've got the top taste tester here and the, uh, the second in line. Oh, sorry. Second sorry, you are, you are top taster. Throne. Do you want to try some of mummy's bread? Uh. No. <laughs> so. That's not promising. You want to try yeah. some bread? <laughs> chip, chip. Okay. Uh, oh, lots dear. Of wow, it looks good. Do you There's think? There's a good consistency. Ooh. Is it a bit tough? <laughs> a bit like an old boot. Oh. Uh, Do you want me to feed? Shall I put my dentist to put uh, first? Okay, no, you don't have to eat it. It's actually really good. It's like bread. Well, no, is it like... Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's proper... Mmm. Mm. Come on. Butter. No, I doesn't even like the sight of it offends him. Do you, do you like it? Do you want to read your caterpillar book? Yeah, is that what you want to do? It's actually really nice. Mm. Do you think? Or am I just saying that because I like, mm -hmm. want it to be nice? I've like convinced myself mm -hmm. that it's nice. 
Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's like the the crust is like super chewy. The inside is like spongy. I like the little pockets as well. The holes. Is it a sourdough? Noah <laughs> says no. We think Noah is has reached a point of extreme tiredness. It'd be really nice in oil and vinegar. Ooh, olive oil, <coughs> vinegar dip, Balsamic couple vinegar. olives. Oh, I love, I love bread dipped in oil. Some dried tomatoes. Yum. Raisin, what do you think to it? <gasps> Raisin's gonna try some. Mmm, mm, that, guys, I gotta say, that is delicious. That's okay. like a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Raisin. What do you think, Noah? Why don't you try a little bit, Noah? Uh. <laughs> is it, is the loaf better than Tilly's loaf? Tilly's loaf? Mm. What Tilly's loaf? Tilly, the cat. What, when they lay like a loaf of bread? <laughs> yeah. No, nothing beats that. <laughs> when the cats lay with their paws under it, like a big freshly baked loaf. <laughs> Why do you find that so funny? <laughs> he likes it when he squeezes his foot. Uh, you see Tilly? <gasps> you see Tilly? <laughs> You've got to squeeze it really hard. Okay. You see Tilly? Ella. Where's Tilly? Come on then. You wanna go get Tilly? Go get Tilly. Out of ten, final verdict, and then I promise we'll stop talking about bread. As far as bread goes, yeah, it's ten. Ten? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a ten. Ooh. It's getting a ten from the board. How exciting. Next time That's we really might good. try sourdough. It's not sourdough by the way, it's called artisan. Okay. Slightly different. Do you know what I feel like it could do with? Mm. A little bit longer maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit longer in your <laughs> No, maybe though. Do you think? Mm. I not? said that earlier. Did you? I said earlier I feel like it might be a little bit too soft. I think it's really good though. I do think it's really good. You can put olives in it. In it. Olive mm, bread. Put olives in it. Oh, that's what you should mm. do next. Mm. Olive bread next. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for, for the olive bread updates. Two. I hope by the end of the year I'm going to be like a... Proper bread maker. Bread All the breads. We're gonna have sourdough seeded. Art artisanal bread channel. This could be. Mm. Watch this space. <laughs> no, it does not think so. Bread. I was like, I've had enough of you till today. <laughs> if you could just you could be, stop talking. You could literally be chief bread maker one day. <laughs> no. Would you, like, would you like, Daddy, to read you your book? I can't touch it, though, no. You just want to read Hungry Pat Caterpillar, don't you? Yeah. Do you want to read it? Uh, no, <laughs> I thought uh, it was like that. Was like a. Uh... He tricked you. bedtime routine and I'm just about to watch Love Island. Just a just a standard weekday evening. Oh I have something really exciting to show you guys. So we got through a couple of different like layouts of our bathroom through this evening. Um, I'm gonna show you the one that we've chosen. I'm so excited guys like it's everything and more. You know when you have something in your head and then like it's just so much better so i'm gonna give you a little sneak peek because i do want to like kind of keep some of it for a surprise when we actually um do the bathroom renovation vlogs but we were able to do the layout that i really wanted um let me show you a little sneaky peek little sneaky sneaky peek so thought the lighting out a little bit <gasps> look let me show you another one. <laughs> May as well just show you them all now. <gasps> Guys. So this is where the shower currently is in our bathroom. How amazing does this little unit look? And we were able to find like a tall unit. That's actually a kitchen um, 
unit there but obviously you're able to put it in the bathroom but how amazing so yeah so exciting the only things we kind of need to decide now are um the color of the hardware so it's between matte black or brushed gold we've we've got designs of both of them um and i feel like the brushed gold looks a lot softer um looks a little bit more like luxury but the black i think i'm swaying towards more towards the matte black i feel like it looks more modern like super clean um like really smart and i think the black as well really ties in with the rest of our home because obviously in our bedroom we've got our black curtain pole our black mirror um our black bedside um lights and then in here we've got again like elements of black so i do think having the black hardware almost like ties in the bathroom with the rest of the house but i'm not sure but yeah that is going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog thank you all so much for spending time with me it has been a really really lovely day i feel like i'm ending the day on a really positive note i think we're gonna vlog this weekend i'm thinking maybe on sunday I've got a really nice day planned on sunday so i'm thinking i might vlog then um but i will catch up with you guys next weekend thank you all so much for watching hope you're all really well and catch up soon Night night.